niggas know that he the goat and y'all gon' know about know me. About I went rogue. Parental advisory suggested this episode might include language, sexual content, and all kinds of things that people don't like. Anyway, welcome Shit, back to the podcast. It's your boy, Lunar Neos, and my partner, Crown, my ace, my man, Professor Soul. How you been, bro? Doing up gang signs. Man, busy. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been a busy few weeks. We ain't even, we yeah. just not getting to it, so. We ain't been able to clip it up. I had, I had to go destroy a Halo ring and shit. <laughs> Trying to take Cortano's punk ass, so. Yeah, no, now you got video. Now it's not, now it's just not me, like, because when I went yeah. back and rewatched it, like, I liked it. It's just me, though, you know what I'm saying? I like it now, me and you react, and that's why I wanted it. So I'm, I, I feel like this is the first real good, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get get to see how we are. I do two professional issues I got to. Oh, know. yeah. Due to uh, his job, he's going to keep being, he's going to be the mass, he's going to be the mass assassin, mass assassin. So. Pretty much. But with all due respect, it's whatever. My man's still my man. And uh, I feel like it brings yeah. flavor to the podcast. I may do I do a couple mass every other episode or so and do a random one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So how you been, like, man? What's going on on your end? I don't know, man. I've been in a funk. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I I, I ain't even rec- I record a couple stuff and well, I thought about recording a couple stuff and then just didn't didn't I don't know just didn't feel like. Put none of it out. Like I, I write something down to shoot a video or record a video, and then just trash it. And that's what I was telling a couple folks in the stream today. Oh yeah, I started streaming today. Actually, and I only did it because one of my friends he wants to be a a, a streamer, but I right. I did it with him to like give him like <laughs> the uh give him the confidence to start just to do it. And oh, I, I mean, I, like what I do with you. Yeah, like I can give good advice, but I can't take good advice. So it's just like, I don't know, it's a double entendre over here. Yeah, it definitely is. You're like the single guy giving the relationship advice. <laughs> yeah, but I've been in like eight relationships and won't be in a relationship now or some shit. Yeah, that's yeah. all it was like. And I even made the layout. I don't know, you, you said you stopped by for a little bit. Yeah, like you seen the layout. It looks pretty good. Like I actually put like my money into it and. You see the setup now, like I, I actually I've invested a lot into this the, to this whole craft I'm trying to do, but and now I'm getting to that bridge to where just doing it and then um shout out to Camelot three three one, he's my old manager at GameStop, but he's a big YouTuber now, and he came to the pot he came in, through the stream and I didn't even know he I didn't even ask him to uh like I, we don't even talk no more for real and. He stopped by, like, he was just telling me, like, you just do it. Like, you know, it's something I needed to hear from another mm-hmm. source besides, like, not saying, like, y'all's, like, um, advice isn't needed because y'all are the reason why I'm even here and even invested at this point. But just yeah. him telling I'm kinda me. kind of invested like, now. Yeah. So, um, me and him, uh, I, I, and I was telling him, like, I want to do, like, the interviews and stuff. Like, I told you, like, I want to, like, travel and do the cons and stuff and just meet people and interview them and stuff and then he was um like he's down to do an interview now like just off of him being in the stream and then another one of my friends who streams on facebook he wants to link up and stream so like i um i think i'm gonna like do my streaming with, with but with the rpgs and stuff that i'm comfortable with not call of duty i can hate call of duty right. I look, like i do a shooter for some like halo like how like how we used to do back in the day yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, I felt like I felt like games like Halo, like or Destiny, something that's like a, my comfort zone. I can do really well, and because I was I was beast at Halo and Destiny, but now it's just like getting that. I don't know, like just start, shooters in general don't don't make me happy anymore. Not like they used to, but 
that's really I just been a funk, like a really bad funk and everything I want to do versus there. And like my brother's been recording music and shit and I ain't even like been to the studio with him and I feel bad and and I want to be there and and support him and like do music with him and like I I'm just in a funk. Like I I can't get out of it for nothing in the world and I don't know what's wrong with me. The stars fucking up. They said retrograde happening and shit which I don't know, like, like I've been, I've been feeling good. I just haven't felt like doing that stuff. That makes sense. Well, that makes perfect sense. I mean, sometimes you just don't feel like doing shit, and sometimes you do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and I've been doing that. And I heard, I heard you. You know, the last time we talked, you've been busy and shit. You went to North North Cal and shit. Like you, like you from South Cal, so like you met all your fam up north. No, oh, what it was, uh, I got my niece. Uh, she she went to a uh, university up north, Northern California, mm-hmm. and uh, I've been up there. And my mom hasn't been up there to where her university's at, but my mom went to my other niece's university, UC Davis, which is over by Sacramento. And uh, I hadn't been to Sacramento. I lived in California my whole life, so we just made a trip out of it. I got to see Sacramento, the best state's capital. No, that was my first time. Sacramento's your capital? Yeah, Sacramento's the capital of California, bro. That's so weird. If you only hear about LA and uh, San Diego, L.A., San Diego, San Francisco. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, though, you, you would think those three would be the capital. Right. But, but yeah, no, it was a, it was a good time. Enjoyable. Uh, spent time with my niece, her boyfriend. Got to see the capital of California. I got to see my niece's campus at UC Davis. A good five-hour drive from Sacramento to Humboldt County. Uh, and the kicker for a lot of these, a lot of the gamer geeks and nerds is uh, where my uh, niece went, goes to, uh, went to school, she just graduated, is where the creator of SpongeBob come, came out of. So uh, was that like Krabby college? Patty? Yeah. University. Um, what's the two burger stands in SpongeBob, Krabby Patty, and whatever? It's Krabby Patty and uh, Chum Bucket. It's the, yeah. Uh, so the they're Krabby based Patty. off no, of. The Krabby Patty is in, uh, what's it called? The, mm-hmm. uh, Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab Krusty and Chum Bucket. So those two and the TV show are based off of two locations in Humboldt County, Arcata. Um, so I got to try one of them because I had tried the other one the first time I went up there. So I know a lot of people are like, oh shit, I didn't know that was based on the true thing. There you go. Visit yeah. Arcata and go eat. Hey, question. Where is Fat Burger at? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I mean, uh, it originated in Los Angeles, uh, Southern yeah, California. You didn't, you didn't take me to Fat Burger. I think that's the place. Remember, I think that's the place I was trying to tell you about. Where I wanted to go, but I couldn't remember the name. Fat burger. Okay. I mean, so, we have some fat burgers out here in Vegas. You do? Uh, yeah. But That's they originated. Good. They originated in Southern California, though. Kind of yeah, like the best to... burger place in the world, In and Out. Yeah. When I um, I'm coming out there next year, bro. I'm trying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do my best to fly out there next year. Yeah, dude. I mean. I'm gonna try to go out there sometime, but I got I got a couple trips I I got planned out. Yeah, but Especially, you know, with you my daughters. Your daughters, that's what I'm saying. You come out here, you gotta go see your daughters. You can't. And it sucks there in yeah, Louisiana. Out, Joker, where you get that from? Uh, Sacramento. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, I might as well buy me something, right? All right. Treat yourself, fool. That's that's the motto now. Treat yourself. I treated myself with a nice big ass TV, bro. 
Bro, I want to get a new one. I want to get the new uh the Sony OLED TV. The new Sony one. The, the, the X with the XR1 chip that goes man, with the that, PlayStation man, 5, which is what so I got. Crazy. Yeah, that's what, but, bro, it's so dope. Bro. I, I want it so bad. So Ghost, I still haven't finished Ghost, and that shit looks phenomenal on that TV, bro. Wait, Ghost? Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro. I know, man. I haven't had time. No, yeah, like, you've been busy this week. Everybody, like, you've been busy. I've been in a run, so it's just like, like, I've been doing everything but playing games. Like, any game that, like, I think about playing, I get on and then be like, I'm going to just lay down. Like, nothing has, like, kept my interest at all. Like, nothing. I, I mean, I haven't even been able to watch any uh, My Hero Academia that you wanted me to start watching. I think I'm still stuck on episode three or four. Mm, and that's Barely got to watch Loki's ep- second episode today because I just – and I, I didn't watch it. Like, it was, like, an hour ago. Two hours ago, so – Right, did you, well, see our, fresh. did you see our representation, Alabama? Okay, but here's yeah, I saw that. But here's the thing that pisses me off. What's Back to the future gave us hopes of flying cars and hoverboards. Loki basically told us we're just going to have some crappy ass school buses. What about some crappy school buses? Loki, did you see them? What? What are you talking about? The, uh, oh, yeah. Spoiler they, alert. When they first. Did when you they see the school buses? Uh-uh, yeah, when, when they, they get to the warehouse. Yeah, bro, I, I was so tripping out when it when it showed, like, uh, what's the place called? Some Alabama, but it was based off Gulf Shores here. Mm-hmm. It's based off Gulf Shores where they was at. Right. And it's, uh, that's that's the that place that they was at. It's a little beach strip where when you walk down on the strip and shit. That, that right. it's a real store, but I forgot what it's called. I ain't been there in a minute. But I was just tripping out there, like they actually put it there. And then Rock's Cart is a it's a subdivision store from Rock's Core and Spider Man. And so just just seeing that it was just like I don't know, just the fact that they connect the Spider Man to Alabama and that company. Well, they didn't connect Spider Man, but they connected that company, even though it's one of the shit. Yeah. I'm just so mad we we don't have flying cars in 2050. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get at. I mean, I mean, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I don't care. I want a flying car, man. I've been waiting for a flying car since like six years ago. We're gonna get. We'll have flying jet skis before we have flying cars. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Man, we had a fucking like- space force before we had flying cars. How'd you feel about uh, Lady Lucky reveal? The whole time I was watching, I was like, Lady Lucky. Oh, we didn't even give people a warning about spoilers, but. Man, yeah. they know what it is. Spoiler! Here, bro. Like, <laughs> spoiler, should, bitch. During the, during, the, during the video, I should, like, put a big big spoiler sign, like, plastered in front of it. Like, the flashing spoiler. Yeah, I should, I should find a spoiler thing so they know, like, this whole time we're talking is, like, during a spoiler. Uh, like put it at the bottom, like mm-hmm. spoiler. So they can fast forward the video, and then when they when the, when it goes away, then they can press play. Or they can just hurry up and watch Logie so they can be on track with us. I mean, it is what it is. You said you said spoiler before we start talking about it, so it's whatever. Yeah, I did. Oh well, whatever. But how uh, do I feel about Lady Loki? I like it, bro. I mean, they could have like, like, got a hotter chick though, but hey. It don't even matter at this point. I knew what they was going with Lady Luck because everybody, everybody's so bent on the uh, what was it? What they showed that they gender, gender fluid and shit. And mm-hmm. it's like it's like somebody was like interviewing like Tom Tom Hiddleston, right? Somebody was interviewing him like, how do you feel about uh Loki being gender fluid? And it was just like, why would you ask him that? Like he doesn't care, but he's still a male. Like that that he's still the main mean, character too. Yeah, yeah, like like if you read comics, you would know that Loki is a female, just like there's a Lady Thor. Like they they have female, they have female variants of themselves, depending on which timeline you're reading. So they're of course they're gender fluid, but like you cannot ask a man playing that role. Like how does he feel? Like they're not gonna do no gay shit on camera. Like they're not they're not just gonna they're not gonna do that. And I'm not like trying to like talk bad on you know gay folks. Like I'm happy they got representation, but it's just like 
you're looking at it the wrong way. It's not like that. It's just the comic. That's what I think. The I comic. think the issue that people were having is, if you look at the actual comic characters, mm-hmm. the way they were drawn, is they looked exactly like the original character with feminine uh, features. So they were probably thinking, oh. You know, here's a transphobic person that's going to be like, oh, no, they're going to make Loki a female. It's just I mean, obviously, they, they didn't read the comics, so they don't know that there's multiverses and you could have a Tony Stark that's Captain America or whatever. But, mm. you know, these people are just basing their opinions on fucking the MCU and recent TV shows and movies that are coming out with no knowledge of where the original stories are coming from yeah like we're so deep in the mcu now like people don't even it's people watching loki and scarlet witch that haven't even seen endgame and don't care to and just like like there's there's people that are watching loki wanda and falcon winter soldier that don't realize that it's connected to the mcu and it's it's like a transition bridge to yeah to the next like, phase and to the next movies like a lot like it's a facebook group i'm in and it was like somebody literally was just like i just started watching loki and like you know i'm enjoying it like i wish i would have watched marvel stuff from the beginning like mm-hmm. is there how can i learn more about loki's character and what what was that they said what was that event that was shown in the first episode and somebody was like you talking about when he like disappeared through the portal and it was like yeah and it was like that's end game and then somebody and then uh somebody else made another serious? post yeah they didn't even they had never <laughs> seen end game but they're watching loki and it was like how did uh this character like leave from there you know and then another person made a post this is the one that pissed me off was like um they're showing footage from uh they showed deleted they 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 made the post saying i love that they showed deleted footage from avengers uh the avengers movie that we should have got they, i think they try to show years ago. as and much footage as possible like, from no, any somebody, of his appearances no that's what i'm saying somebody was like what you mean deleted footage it's like the first the beginning when he was captured and um thor put the thing over him over his face oh, yeah. it's not in the main movie and then somebody was like it's not in the main movie but it's in endgame and then she was like what's endgame and then they was like wait you seen the first avengers but you haven't seen endgame and then it was like yeah and it was like how can you i'm trying to figure out how you even survived this long without even knowing about endgame but you've seen the first avengers like you seen the first one but you didn't live they living under a rock no like bro like I I get people who work and like who I get you working and haven't been able to see it, which by now I still don't understand because of the pandemic. You had all this time at home to watch it on all these streams, every stream. It's like I think I think I, think I, I ended up watching all MCU movies from beginning to end during the no, pandemic. I, no, I did the same did thing for Matrix, Batman, Star Wars. <laughs> No, I'm saying, but I, but I, what I'm getting to is like, how did you, how did you get see the first one but no Endgame, and let alone how did you not even know Endgame existed? What world are you living in? Excuse me, what world are you living in to get away with that? Make it make sense, please. Make it make sense. I mean, I'm a busy person, and I can't even make it sense. Bruh, it's a difference between it's a difference between being a busy person and but still knowing what's going on in the world. Especially if it'd be different if they didn't watch any Marvel stuff. Like maybe alone. maybe some of the viewers would be able to make a comment and let us know why they didn't watch it if that was their case and give us some insight on it. But as far as me trying to guess. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wish, like, I wish, whenever, whenever this blows up, I want people to tell tell us. But I can't even. Like, every time I try to post like the podcast in like another Facebook group or something, it gets denied. So I just get tired. I'm, I'm just tired of like trying. Because yeah, they, they don't like me cussing. 
No, that's one of them, but at least they watched it. But I'm talking about um, just other groups. They didn't even watch it. They didn't take the time to watch it. They just, like, denied it. And it's just like, bro, like, y'all talk about content creators and, and uplifting everybody, and then you immediately downplay everything. It's like, if you're not some girl showing your body off, you don't get no no response or nothing. It's just it's irritating. Maybe we should have a Patreon or our OnlyFans added to this and get people to watch. <laughs> just add an OnlyFans link. And then and then you can share your, your love for Hente. Nah. No, nah, but one dude is a, <laughs> uh he's a uh chef. He has an OnlyFans and he literally like just cooks. And like yeah. the, the, the no, league, there's people there's fans. people that have OnlyFans that, that don't yeah. do anything sexual. That's what it was supposed to be for, for like getting closer to like the artists and stuff. But people mm-hmm. made it sexual, and so it just turned everybody off from it. I mean, you got people that are going to hustle any way they can. They're going to take any avenue they can to hustle. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to knock on them. No, I'm not. I'm not knocking. It's just that. Like, oh no, I'm not saying you are. I'm just are, saying in general. Yeah, but uh, but but uh, Loki though, like, just I I was just shook that we was we was there, and then I got a friend from school. She's gonna be in a, a couple of episodes. Like she's the actor. Yeah, like me and her are like actually friends, friends, and so um, I don't know when her episodes are gonna Ooh. show up or when it. When Maybe it we is, can uh, get her to come on here. Oh yeah, most of them, like if I I gotta I gotta uh text her, see what she been up to. But like she's like she's busy though. Like she just got back yeah. from Atlanta actually. Right. So, um. In case anybody does not know, that for most of the MCU films are that's what all the being created. And so literally every movie since like two thousand and like fourteen. I mean, they still go on. Uh, they still go on other. Places and whatever. No, they do. They go the majority of it, but the but the ninety percent of the everything is Mm -hmm. being shot in Georgia, and but the whole like Avengers compound and all that stuff, all that's in Georgia. Like they just made Mm -hmm. it in Georgia. It's so it's so cheap to film there now. Like Mm -hmm. Hollywood, like Hollywood is literally Atlanta now, which is crazy to even think about. And and the transition from like Hollywood to Atlanta was so like quick. Like it was out of nowhere. Why are you saying that? Because Atlanta will never be Hollywood. That's a lot, bro. You not know right. Let's Hollywood. let's let's take a history trip, bro. I mean, no disrespect to Atlanta or anybody from Atlanta, and the, you know, Atlanta's gonna the economy for Georgia and Atlanta is gonna boom out of this. In respect to that. But you got to take the mind of history that comes with Hollywood, with the first studios, when it was just desert lands and how it started there and everything that was built around it. You got the Chinese theater. You got the walk of the fame, too. You know, it's Hollywood's always going to be Hollywood. No disrespect. I mean, yeah, but all that's like going on. Like, I'm not saying like it's not going to go away but Atlanta has took a lot of that a lot has took a lot of the movie the movie industry and it's there now just look it up like I'm yeah, not, yeah no I'm, I'm, no doubt. I'm just I'm just not saying I mean I'm not gonna call it the next Hollywood well I mean it could be the next Hollywood but I, I just I, I'm not about to give it the Hollywood name is what I'm trying to say, you know? Bro, I'm telling you, it is. It is it is black Hollywood at this point. <laughs> it is definitely black Hollywood. Uh but yeah, like the whole the whole episode I'm just like Lady Loki. Lady Loki. How they were yeah. setting it up, the gender fluid shit, and like if you look at the thing like gender fluid, if you look at when they showed the they they was putting a lot. They've been putting a lot of emphasis on women. Mm-hmm. And the start of the episode, who they kidnapped, just different things that like I've been paying attention to. Ooh, speaking and of then, kidnapping, and or then if whatever. You, hold on, and then hold on, hold on. If you listen to the song that was playing, um, I need a hero. Yeah. Say at the beginning of the episode too when he was fighting. 
And it was like mm-hmm. talking about to get to the princess. And when you think about the lyrics and shit, Lady Loki is a princess because Loki is a prince. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that whole the whole reveal, like it was just dope. Just the fact that Lady Loki's hiding out in Alabama. That shit is funny to think about. Um, did you catch that? I, I I don't know if it's true. I didn't go back and watch it, but apparently when Loki first is in that uh that room where he gets brought in or whatever to take the ticket, they are bringing Agent Carter in in the background. Bring Agent Carter in the background. Yeah, Peggy Carter. Uh-uh. I saw something a video. Somebody was like, "Hey." You know, when Loki's just standing there in the background, you see the portal open and an agent is walking what looks like Peggy Carter in. Mm-mm. I didn't see that. You haven't seen that? No. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not uh, Peggy Carter. Her name would have been in the credits. That's true. I mean, unless it's a... Uh, just a little cameo or whatever. No, but still, though, she would have been in the credits. Like, you know, when they do little stuff like that, they, they throw those her people's names in the in the credits. So, um, but she is on the one of the murals. Is she? Yeah, in episode one where he's the little line area, area or whatever, mm-hmm. she's, she's on one of those murals. Like when it okay. shows like the the World War Two and the planes over, if you look in the back, yeah. you see her. And then the other, it's like you know they got them separated or whatever. And then at the last one, it's like in one of the scenes where Loki was like, I think getting a ticket, or whatever. You see mm-hmm. Stan Lee. Stan Lee's painted on a mural. Mm-hmm. And so it's like him. I didn't see that. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. Yeah, it's Stan Lee. He's on one of them. Um, Agent Carter's on one of them, and then. I forgot who the other one. Just sent you something. Uh, Just sent you something. Not in this chat, but you'll see it. Uh, do you see? Do you see how they keep hitting that? Uh, the time. I feel like the the they're, they're gonna play off the time. The time uh, keepers to be Kang. Every time I see the picture, every time I see the face, like the, it just looks like Kang. It just reminds the, the me one that's Kang. always in the middle. Yeah, it just looks like Kane, and he's always and, doing yeah, something he does. different. And, and if you different. remember the cartoon that they show, yeah, he's purple. He sure is, ain't he? And the mm. other ones, I don't believe, were purple. If I, if I remember correctly, no, they're blue. They're blue, and they're the only ones that don't got a diamond in his crystal, and they're doing mm. something different. Like the middle one always either has his hands out or his hands together like a jutsu. And then the ones on the side are like in crane forms or some shit. And it has that that crane little yeah, side like thing going thing. on. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel yeah. like I I hope we see Kang in this show. I hope Kang because his wife is the old girl that's like the only one that sees him is yeah his girl like that I'm like the only one that like sees the, the timekeepers is is uh is it becomes his wife. So it's just like. It needs to, that needs to be Kang. Kang the Conqueror has to be the time variant. It has to be the timekeeper. Because he, that, like, you see what she, she says, like, he keep, they're, they're watching this case, like, thoroughly. And then it's another thing, like, he he found out about Nexus events because he's a, isn't he a Nexus being in the, um, no, he's not. He's just regular. But he monitors all the timelines because of the Nexus beings, like, because they're the ones that, can undo like his shit. Appreciate the next being or not for them. What? Wouldn't doubt it. Probably have to look it up. What? That he's a next being. Is he a next being? I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. I know. Um, I know Vision from one of the timelines is a next being. I know Spider Man from one of the timelines is a next being. Like different. Not every character is in time, like not every character is a nexus being, but only certain characters are nexus beings in every time. I like Scarlet Witch, no matter where she the is at, she's always a nexus being, and like she's always a focal point for everything. Mm-hmm. Like she's always. Gonna be a nexus. 
know. Anyway, so go on. Where were we at? Uh, King the Conqueror. I just, I really, I really hope and think that the time variance in, in the MCU is for uh, is King the Conqueror. Him being Nathaniel Richards. I just hope that, you know, when he gets introduced, I hope that it leads to Iron Lad. And since since the dude is playing him is going to be black, I, I can't wait to see it. Like a black Iron Lad? Dude, I'm going to lose my shit, bro. I'm going to lose it. Well, speaking of Iron Lad, we got a, a news on a, our new young black superhero. Well, not really a superhero, but uh, Nightwing. No, Batwing. Batwing. Batwing, yeah. That's interesting. They're doing a lot of a lot of representation on that, pissing off a lot of people because they don't read comics. Yeah, and they're saying like, I don't know. I just, I just, I start looking at all that shit because it pissed me off because y'all don't know. They don't know that Batwing is a real character and he's black in the fucking comics. Like, and he literally was made because when they made Lucifer in the movies, you know, DC, they can oh, y'all made a new character. We got to throw him in the comics. That's how Harley Quinn was made. So how you going to accept Harley Quinn but not accept Lucius, Lucius Fox? And then how you not going to accept his son? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you can't pick and choose just because one of them hot. But, nah. He was created since, what, 2010 or something like that? 2009? Yeah, a little bit later. A little bit later than that. Because Lucius Fox didn't come into his first comics until... No. No, he was he been in the comics. Lucius Fox. Oh, Lucius Fox has been he been there for a while, but I'm talking about that wing. Yeah, two nine thirteen. I know it was a little bit later. Okay. Yeah. Well, he came in two thousand eleven as, you know, his son, but he didn't suit up as Bat Wing to two thousand thirteen. Right, that's what it was. Yeah, like we didn't see him in the suit, but I, I knew like he came later. I, I thought when he came in 2011, that's when Lucius Fox came. I forget that Lucius Fox was a character, but he wasn't. He wasn't as important as what he was now. He was a big. Yeah. Oh man, DC Warner Brothers. They they, they got to fix their. They got to fix all that. I mean. They got so much potential to do things, and you know, it's, it's either constant recasting or you know, redirecting with the whole Snyderverse and all that. And they cut out the Green Lantern. That would have been great. Not you know, a, gives uh, it an opening to introduce the Lantern Corps. No, that's what they're saying. They're making a Lantern course, but they said it's going to be a TV show, not a movie series. Right? Oh, really? So it's going to be an HBO Max show? Yeah, and I'm just, I, that don't make sense to me. Like, why would you do that? Like, that's that's big enough yeah. to be its own fucking movie on a lot, like, see, like, movie anthology, bro, like. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have this potential, you know, to watch Crisis on Infinite Earths. I just watched the episode needed. And they cross over movie flash to the TV show. One spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen it, no oh well. And now they're saying that TV show flash is going to show up on movie flash. Hey, you know what that is, right? No. Flashpoint paradox is canon to everything. Mm-hmm. Flash, they're saying flashpoint paradox is going to be the reset, how they did in 2011 with the Flashpoint Paradox cartoon movies coming from the old Cartoon Network yeah. shows, and then they, re- they made Flashpoint Paradox, and then we got the new the new 52 movies or whatever. Okay. And we got that whole new wave of the new 52 movies, and then Justice League Apocalypse, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War ended it. 
ended all over. Now when the new the new timeline. Well, apparently they're gonna do the same thing with the live action with the Flashpoint Paradox and supposedly reboot and get a cohesive timeline. But it's just like I mean, but can they get a cohesive timeline with T V show Flash always fucking it up? <laughs> That's the thing. They're both fucking it up. And then, you know, to that point, like you got so many different Batmans that they're they're gonna include the original Bat nineteen eighty nine Batman, Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. So it's like, man, what are you guys doing? Like do something consistent. Marvel, Marvel literally gave them the blueprint. And mm-hmm. they copied it. And then their cartoon department gave them another blueprint. Like, this is what you do with the DC movies. Just do that. And they literally just, you could have just went and dealt with all of the damn characters' movies while having a Justice League movie. If you wanted to start with Justice League first, you should have just did it how the cartoons did it. Mm-hmm. And then went from there. Or if they, if they wouldn't wanted to do, like they did the three Dark Knight movies and then three Superman, Man of Steel movies and then introduce... Flash, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and then do the Justice League. Or that could have worked. I mean, but or, they, what they did is they skipped everything and went to Batman versus Superman with no introduction of that Batman, which is a different Batman. And, or, yeah. or Man of Steel, and then he, they could have kept Batman v Superman, did the original Snyder cut how they wanted to. And that four hour long one. Mm-hmm. Kept that one. And then give us what the cartoons did. Just literally just did it instead of like rushing. Like when Zack Snyder's thing his daughter died and he had to get off the movie, it should have just waited instead of like rushing. Like, you know, greatness takes time. And apparently like he would have had Martian Manhunter by now. We would have had Cyborg and all them shit. I no did like how they br- brought in Martian Man at the end, though. Bro, that, uh, was gonna, Snyder. that was going to be perfect, bro. That was bro. Perfect. I was mad he didn't do I don't do know why they didn't bring him in in the action, though, man. I'm mad he didn't do That's my boy, dude. Like, Martian Manhunter's my dog since the fucking cart fight. He's, like, the reason, like, I got into, like, Cosmic DC shit. Like, he's my like, dude, bro. And at this point, when they redid everything for Snyder, Shazam already came out. Mm-hmm. They could have brought some of Shazam into it too. No, they didn't do no. Re- they only did like a couple of reshoots. It, like all the stuff that we seen. Yeah, was I mean, you get what I'm saying, that though. Come on, yeah. But that, but everything was already shot. Like that's that's what's crazy about this movie. It was already there. They just didn't do it, and then they wanted to blame Josh Whedon. But Josh Whedon didn't know what the fuck was going on. He coming from Avengers. He just gonna look at it. Do Josh Whedon and say, here, here go to movie, bye. Mm-hmm. And in his reshoot, if anything, he made shit shorter because he's thinking like how Marvel things like, nah, we got to fit in two hours. At that back then, before Disney was like, because that, because when he came and worked on it, he was coming off Avengers too. So they was still, that was right before Disney purchased and was like, nah, y'all can make three hour movies, bro. Y'all can do what the fuck y'all mm-hmm. want to. Finish what you like, get it done. Fucking do a, a fucking 20 year story and shit. Mm, I'm thinking, continue it, keep going. Listen, I'm thinking that. All right, so this is my theory right now. You know how they keep hinting at they keep talking about the multiversal war that happened before everything? Mm-hmm. I think that's the comic books. That's them talking about the comic books, how the comic books had all the wars and shit. Yeah, and then in the big secret wars at the end, where Doctor Doom and fought everybody, and mm-hmm. God, God, Doctor Doom, whatever. Um, I think that's the comic stuff. So they like they talk about the comics when they talk about the big multiversal war, and then during that timeline, Kane and Conquer from one of the comics crossed over into the, what we know as the MCU, and made our timeline, and he called it. The, the prime time, the, what do you call it, the sacred timeline, and so he watches over our, he watches over the MCU 
And you know how they were talking about, like, they write it, you know, there it's being written now, Untangled, which is Marvel and Disney, yeah. Marvel and um Disney writing with the shit right now, whatever. But yeah, I think they're going to use Kane the Conqueror as that person, like, just monitoring. And then I feel like the TVA is going to be evil. I feel like the TVA is working for Kane the Conqueror. And I feel like that they're going to find out that the TVA isn't what they what they say it is. Mm-hmm. And so, um, hold on real quick. Yo. Yo. My fault, my sister came home. She came home. Yeah, my sister came home. So she, she had to... Like from college or something? Or yeah, she lives in Chattanooga now. She's a nurse in Chattanooga. Oh, she, oh, she's done with that. Nice. Yeah, she graduated uh, last December and got a job in Chattanooga. So she moved up closer. So whenever she has an all weekend off, she just comes home. Nice, nice. And the drink looks good. I think I'm gonna have one. <laughs> and I'm always the one up late to open the fucking door. Oh. All right, so back to uh, back to which call. So I'm thinking TVA is bad, like really, really bad. Kang is watching them, but Kang stays hidden because he doesn't want anybody to know who he is. But I feel like he has different variants of him scattered throughout the different timeline. See what I'm saying? Maybe he's trying to find his variants. No, that's the thing though. Like his variants all work for him. You know how like they got the council to read in the comic? Mm-hmm. Like that's how Kang uh, operates a little bit. I feel like they're gonna do that for Kang. I don't know why I feel like that. I'm trying to see if I got my slot for Cortana back here. Yep, I sure do. For real, you got a slot back there for real? Yeah, there's a fucking slot back there, dude. That's bad. Um I just feel like that they're gonna um I don't know, Kang is going to be, I feel like Kang is going to be way more important. And I feel like he's monitoring the timeline because of the Nexus event. Because once they pass that red line, he can't do nothing about it. They can't change the timeline. They can't erase that timeline or whatever. And that's where Scarlet Witch comes in and is going to blow the doors wide open. Because right now we got one timeline. Technically, we got a couple different ones because Loki's out there doing the shit. But... I feel like we're getting here, like right now. Hold on, let me see. Right now, everything's going right here, and we got a little squealy lines here and like that. But when we get right here, I feel like right now nobody knows, nobody's paying attention to Scarlet Witch, and she's gonna blow this bitch wide open, and then it's all gonna go past the red line, and then we're gonna get to where everything is the MCU. But in its own timeline, which we already know that, but it's going to get to the multiversal war that they keep talking about that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in the next, I feel like our next end game is going to be something like the Secret Wars with the characters we got now that we know. And so when that ends, they can reboot Marvel, the MCU, and start a fresh slate with all new characters. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you know, I, I see what you I see what you you're saying there. I mean I feel like it's the, possible. Yeah, no, I feel like they're gonna do that simply because like we're not gonna be here for another 30 years watching it. So I feel like they wanna do super a super huge event to top end game. And then mm-hmm. after that, Kevin Feige and all that for like movies. future generations to have a new yeah. Iron Man and and so Captain they can be like so Kevin, Kevin Feige can be like, all right, this is the culmination of my life's work. Mm-hmm. And then we we'll get Secret Wars, and then it's going to be them cherry picking characters. Oh, yeah. I mean, and if, like, if Kevin Feige actually delivered that kind of idea and message to Disney execs, and they're thinking, well, yeah, we're not going to be here in the future, but the company's still going to be here. We still want the Marvel. company to keep making money. And they still want Marvel to try oh, out movies and stuff. And so they're going to end that on a bang. And then everything after that can just be like reboots and shit of like, then they can do a reboot of Iron Man and stuff for our grand grandkids. You know what I'm saying? Great grandkids yeah. and shit like that. But. I just feel like that's what they're going to, but they got to do it while we we are still attached to it. 
to give us right. that kind of feeling. And so I feel like they're planning something way bigger than Endgame. Something way bigger that we can't even fathom, but we know it's there because they did it. Because the great, to me, after like Civil War and Infinity, like the greatest story is the Secret War story. Like that story is so epic. I mean, you gotta look at the comics and all the stories that have been epic, and like a, an end point, but a beginning point in the comics. There's been so yeah. many of them that they yeah. can literally write out stories for five, six, seven generations in the future, so that yeah. one of these big Nexus events helps Disney and Marvel continue to make movies and TV shows in the future. No, I know they are, but I'm just saying, like, they're leading to, like, a... They got to reset the yeah. MCU so they can bring... So they can get to where they can bring... That's what I'm saying, yeah. They're gonna, they are they have multiple stories in comics that can and help like, them reset. Yeah, and I feel like they're doing the multiversal thing, so when they do get to the multiversal war, we can have Iron Man show back up, Captain America show back up, all these old characters that we're attached to, and they can like reprise their roles for like a movie and have mm-hmm. this big Secret Wars event thing that's just crazy with Thanos and Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four and the X Men and the original six Avengers and Ant Man and, and the Young Avengers and the Inhumans. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just like me thinking about it makes me like orgasm in my head i just hope that's like the route we're going and there's a sexual explicit content young ladies <laughs> and gentlemen but you see what i'm saying like, this hentai not, loving guy oh my god but you see what i'm saying like i feel like that yeah, no i get you i mean i really do that, that would be I mean, like the i, I like, like the that? idea yeah i like the idea of them introducing the multiverse because even though it could just be used in the future, it could still be used in present time to exactly. bring in cameos of fucking Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, you know, just for yeah. a cameo. Pay him fucking 15 minutes just for a small well, cameo. By the time they make that movie, the part one or two or whatever, they will have so much money that they could pay those characters like, bro, just come back for two movies. We'll give you whatever. Yeah. Two mil? You want a 10 mil? Bet like he was getting what fifty mm-hmm. mil a movie. I mean, like, just look at the change. expansion that they've created by buying Marvel, making the deal with Sony, making the deal with Universal Studios for got, Hulk. You, you know, they've created a product that was already there, obviously for a lot of us as fans, but they brought it to the forefront in movie, motion picture. Theme parks. They made a freaking theme park where you got freaking superheroes walking around. Did you just catch that uh, new Captain America on the park? Yeah, yeah no. Um, a- so, you know, they have this product. And Disney, Disney's about having long lasting products. You go back to the 1940s or whatever when it was first started, you know, all these Disney cartoons are everlasting. Mm-hmm. After that, you know, you have movies that have came out that are everlasting. Adaption, adaptation of Star Wars into Disney. You know, I remember when I was a kid going to Disneyland, they had the Star Wars ride. Before they opened up the Star Wars theme park, it was just a couple of rides. So they want products that are going to be long lasting that they can add to their theme parks for hundreds of years. And what are they doing with the MCU by doing this in this multiverse? They're creating that exact same product. And that's what I'm saying. Like, especially like, and that's why I look at the deal with Sony. Like, I feel like Tom Holland is here to stay, but they only got to that because they had the title of a deal to get the M- get Sony into the MCU. It's not going to work without Tom Holland. Nor is it, nor are fans going to care about anything Marvel anymore outside of the MCU now at this point. If you're not, if you're not, if we're not seeing nothing connected to whatever Avengers or whatever mm-hmm. Marvel has in store, we not we don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, look how bad the fucking New Mutants did. Like, it's trash as fuck. I haven't seen it. Oh my gosh, bro! Don't you talking about the one that's on Hulu, right? 
Yes. Is it a awful. Is it a show or is it a movie? No, it's a movie. Oh, is it? I thought it was a TV show. <laughs> uh, but but just looking at like I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to go watch it now, man. You got me fucking. Bro, go go watch it. But just looking at it now and just like looking at the whole like. Like you cannot have Morbius and Venom and stuff without Spider Man. So I'm looking at it like, okay, if Sony, if to Sony that. Gets, if Sony hold on, gets, hold on, hold on, hold on. They just said Morbius is in the MCU and the Avengers is in. Well, Avengers. he has to be in the MCU because Spider Man. Uh, the what's that freaking Vulture. guy from Spider Man? Not Vulture, Vulture and the other guy. It is his name uh, is, uh, is Vulture, but I forget the actor's name. But. No, no Vulture. Vulture's the main bad guy, but the other guy that Vulture talks to at the end of Spider Man. Uh, he has that scar right here. Matt, it's Scorpion. not gonna be the Scorpion. lizard. Scorpion. Is it Scorpion? Yeah, it's Scorpion. Matt Gargan. It's Matt Gargan. Yeah. Um, he obviously shows up in Morbius. So if he's in Spider Man, Spider Man's in MCU, and he's talking to Morbius, and Morbius has to be in MCU. But they're saying no. The other thing is, they're not, I haven't seen any connection to Venom, to Spider-Man, or Venom and Carnage to Spider-Man, which is pissing me off, because you can't have either of those two without Spider-Man. And that's what I'm saying, like, I feel like Sony and Disney came to an understanding to where it's just like, all right, we got to have Spider-Man, but we want to be in the MCU. We're not going to make no money without the MCU now. Y'all just made it a fucking conglomerate at this point. So if Sony plays by Marvel's rules and write these stories to where Kevin Feige can oversee it and it doesn't interfere with the overarching art, but it still can like take place in these places and like do shit and like fuck shit up and like be epic and grand adventures, but still play in the safe space of Marvel. Like, kind of like what epic. Netflix did. Like what Netflix did with the Defenders, Jessica Jones, all of that. They were not directly involved into the MCU, but they were indirectly involved in the MCU. Yes and no. But if they, if Sony can do that, huh? I'm talking about way better than that. Well, yeah, no way better than that, but that's still, that's, that's an example that Sony can take and be like, you can have your own story. You can have your own origin. You can have your own life as a movie. But you're running along the, the street they even that the MCU is running on, but not directly. But that's the thing, though. Like, the defenders, the, I don't count that MCU simply because they didn't even cross over. But Venom and Morbius are going to cross over into Thunderbolts and shit. Like. But. Defenders and uh, and some of those episodes did cross over in the sense of a lot of the things that happened in the MCU in the movies yeah, got were, were referenced and sometimes picked up on because of a building or whatever. So you yeah. also got to look at it like that. That's small though. Like I, they could have done that. Fact, with, we're not doing that. We're not. That's what I'm saying. We're get away from that. I'm looking uh, at. Like, I know, but what I'm saying with Venom, they could have done something similar. Because Venom is in San Francisco. Who's in San Francisco? Ant Man. Yeah, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like, but Ant Man and Venom, that like they could write Venom in a way to where it took place right before Ant Man when he or right when he's on house arrest where he couldn't do nothing. You see what I'm saying? I like that. I I like the house arrest idea. Instead. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And so yeah. that makes sense to where why Ant Man never seen him. And then mm-hmm. a lot of Ant Man's villains villains are like because of the use Ant Man. So like they're in the microscopic radar. So like they're doing little petty things. So like they're flying under the radar doing their shit. And then Venom is out here terrorizing San Francisco. They would never they would never cross over. Even when you look at like stuff and like like look at Spider Man stories, all of us in fucking New York, and look how many like look how many heroes are in New York. None of them ever see each other in their stories. Well, even even the first the homecoming, they literally go into that thing where you know let the Avengers handle it, whatever, and the Avengers are off doing other shit. 
Oh, yeah, and he's or like, or, or what, what did Tony say in uh, Homecoming? This is above their pay grade. They like, you mm. can literally write it to where like they ignore some, sh- they ignore shit. Like, I'm not finna handle that shit. Like, let somebody else mm-hmm. do it. That's literally how you can look at Venom and say, yeah. just go at Ant Man because Ant Man, Ant Man can literally be like, first, I was on house arrest, so I'm not going outside to do anything. And the second mm-hmm. is like, oh, who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is. I ain't going out there. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But now, you could write an ass like he's an Avenger. So in in, in Scott Lang's head, like that's l- below me now. I don't that, have to that's, deal with that's, that. That's petty shit. Call the little guy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He can literally look at it like now, like yeah. You know, no, like, but I get that, and that's what I'm trying to say. It's like you, you know, you got the Venom movie running on parallel right here, right? And you got everything and then, MCU and Avengers running right here, where they're and just then another running. Thing I like about Venom is that all his shit takes place at night. So, like, his shit can literally be, like, dead of the night doing shit, and when folks wake up, like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Should introduce Moonlight. Moonlight to that. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, well, I know he's coming. But he's a New York but character. Means, but he's in New York, yeah. Fuck that guy, too. But still, though, like, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, technically, Venom is supposed to be in New York mm-hmm. by technicality. So let's not forget that. I mean, no. And you technically, at, you look at all Venom, new Marvel, when he's in San Francisco, Venom didn't the start Marvel. off. Yeah, but they're starting Venom right off as an anti-hero. Venom was not an anti-hero starting off. He was a villain starting off. No, yeah. I mean, they're making all of Spider-Man's, like, uh, people anti-heroes. Look how they're doing Morbius. They're making Morbius yeah. look like some super dope-ass vampire. vampire. You know, and that nigga is nowhere I hope Blade near comes in and that kicks that his movie. ass. Bruh, and that's what, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I need Blade coming in and whoop his ass. The, he has to be in the MCU because they got to bump. They got to do something. I got to see Blade and Morbius. Eddie. Oh, bro. Yeah. Just just remember. John Barenthal is going to come back and reprise as the Punisher. Oh, for real? For real. Uh, I forgot for what real. series I think. I think it's gonna be Moon Moon Knight. Yeah. Don't quote me on it. But you got the, the, the they uh, yep. announced it. He's coming back as Punisher, so that opens the window to have what's his name to come back as Luke Cage, which I think is great. The dude that played Matt Murdock is coming back in Spider Man. Oh, word. Yeah. So, um, so nice. basically, I want to say this year. The fucking contract is up with Netflix, where they, where they say like you couldn't use their characters for three years. Well, they can't use the characters no more. That that already happened. They can. Sh- the contract that you're that I think you're talking about is them actually having the show on the Netflix. No uh, whenever, availability. Whenever, whenever Disney bought back those characters from Netflix, Netflix made it and they put in the contract that you have to go two years without using those characters mm-hmm. and so the now we're getting to where the character can show up but not be suited up yet until like next year okay so december i think is the end of that contract so matt murdoch showing up as matt murdoch is okay and then the next movie him showing up as daredevil is okay because the contract is up yeah. So, but him just yeah, being there, be I think they can put it between under him, there. between Matt Murdock, the guy that played Matt Murdock, and the guy that played Punisher, all of and the guy that probably. played Luke Cage were great. They're, so, just hearing good. you telling me Matt Murdock and the guy that plays Punisher, John Barenthal, I'm already like, yeah. No, and then the girl that played Jessica Biel or whatever her name is, uh, Jessica plays, Jones. Jessica Jones. She's coming like that. Like she already said, she's waiting on her call. But everybody got a call, so I'm I'm pretty sure they're all gonna come. What back. about the guy that played uh? Ah, fuck, I forget that dude's name. Uh, Iron Fist. Yeah, Iron Fist. Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Iron Fist like origin stuff, so they may if anything he'll be the one to get rebooted. Yeah. But, but uh, we'll see though. I mean, 
they got to see about Shang. I mean, Shang Chi, like they really like Shang Chi's taking over basically what Iron Fist is. So they both. I mean, they they both coexist. I don't know. I don't know about that. I just know Matt Murdock is gonna supposedly gonna be um, Peter's lawyer in this uh, in the movie. Spider Man, yeah. Which I don't know why they should just get a scroll to place Peter as Spider Man and then have them both show up in the courtroom, be like, "Look, I'm not Spider Man," and then case closed. Wait, wait, say that again. Say who? What? So in the in the movie, oh scroll, I'm like, who the fuck? Yeah, scroll. Yeah. In the movie, I mean, mean, we already got we already got Nick Fury. Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick uh, Fury being played by the scroll and there. So. Now I'm saying in the movies they're uh they saying that it's gonna be a trial of Peter trying to prove that he's not Spider Man, and I'm just like, why don't you just get a scroll to play Peter unless they're gonna make it to where like the scrolls can't copy his power, which they can't. Only the super scroll can copy their powers, and they're the evil ones. So I mean, I think some scrolls can copy their powers or. Um, it's just their looks. I can't remember how the scrolls. Oh, the can't. The scrolls cannot copy the power because if you remember in Captain Marvel, they she did the whole photon blast and he's like, "How do I know they can't, can't do, do that?" that. Scrolls can't. So, do that. you're right. You're right. Regular scrolls can't copy power, so they he couldn't he couldn't come in and web swing. Mm-hmm. Well, he could give him the web. But it swing would make version. sense for a scroll to come in as just Peter Parker. You get at yeah. that. Because he can't do the jumping and hanging off the walls and then have Peter Parker be Peter Parker. Exactly. Reverse it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what yep. I'm saying. That's what they should do. Like, they should literally do that to get the case closed so everybody get off his dick. Nope. Yeah. You do that. That, that would be definitely... I mean, you still got so much, though. So much. You got the Eternals. That's gonna that open up flop. a whole new avenue. I hope that don't flop, and I hope they, I hope they explain a good reason. But well, again, isn't Taika, Taika doing the directing? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. It's that, uh, that, that. I think she's Chinese director that just won an Oscar is the one that did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, she haven't seen that movie. No, man. I'm, I'm curious to watch it. I hope, I hope they. Uh, I mean, if she won an Oscar, obviously she's good. I hope, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you could win an Oscar, but it's still the MCU. It's a whole different group of people you got to please. Yeah. Oscar, I mean, Oscar people uh, are, you know. But but you got to take in mind how serious Disney as a corporation. I'm not saying that. No, take I'm the hiring. This. But this isn't Disney. This is Marvel. Like, Disney don't really got no hands on. Disney's just telling them, like, hey, make some kids shows so we can do it for the kids. You know, that's what Disney wants. Kid money. They can make toys and shit. No, what Disney wants is all money. They want Star Wars money. They want Marvel money. They want Disney TV show money. I feel like Disney's you gotta stop. You gotta harder. stop looking at it like, you gotta stop looking at it like that. You gotta look at it as Disney no, I, no, I is know the what control about. center. Yeah. I know what Disney's about. I just feel like Disney is more... If they're hard on anybody, I feel like they're fucking hard as shit on um they're hard as shit Directors. on uh, no 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 Star Wars just Star Wars as a brand. So Star Wars gotta step up. Star Wars gotta come with it. First of all, they fucked up with Star Wars. No, they did the they had Star Wars for the longest and then just gave us like hand me down movies like movies. They didn't put them. they didn't put no effort. effort. Right. Here's the thing though. Disney went and hired Josh Whedon, John Favreau, and Kevin Feige, and whatever the brothers' names are. Disney didn't hire them. Why you stop putting that all on Disney? Marvel did all no, that before but Disney. But Marvel, Marvel answers to Disney. That's what you got. You got to stop Listen, acting like they're separate they, companies. They do, but not like you think it anymore. Like Kevin Feige and the Russos already have stated plenty of times that the Russos. Disney. Disney lets them do whatever now because they built this up on themselves. Disney can't come in 
and stop what they built up. They did it. They was going to do this regardless. Disney just wanted the piece of the pie and doubled their money. Okay, That's why but here's the, the thing, though. Like here's the thing, though. The Russos and Feige were not there at the beginning. So they were hired Feige has by always Disney. been there. What are you talking about? Did he Joe start Favreau the MCU? And, yes, he does. Joe Favreau and Feige started the MCU. Joe Favreau has always been there. Feige has always been there. Feige has just been, like, he's always been the man behind the scenes. Joe Favreau gets all the credit from me because he wrote Iron Man. He wrote all the movies how they were. He wrote all the movies and pieced them together. Joe and and then and then uh Feige was the one doing the behind the scenes getting like how you think Audie got on board all the like advertising he was the one getting the toys and he like he was over Marvel like them two made the MCU Disney just came in and gave them a cushion so they didn't have to depend on Audie and all this shit no more and toy sales and shit and video games like why do you think we had video games at first? Like the Iron Man had a video game. Every every movie up until the Avengers had a video game. All right, man. Why you gotta get mad about? I'm not getting mad. I'm just saying, like, like, like Disney's not what. But they Disney they still hired them though. That's what I'm saying though. No, no, they didn't, bro. Disney came in and like. If anything, Marvel hired Disney. And then Disney's like, yeah, y'all can do this. Disney gives them the say so of like to so so after Avengers 2, when whenever phase three happened, Disney was the one that gave them the movie to gave them the money to start making all the other fucking superheroes. Like Marvel was just gonna stick with Ant Man and the Course Six. Like the only new characters they wanted was Ant Man. Like Ant Man was always gonna come. And, and then if you go back and look at their original list, they was going to bring, like, the Power Pack. They was going to bring some other, like, random characters and shit. And they always was trying to get a Spider-Man. They always were trying to get a deal with Spider-Man. Disney cut the check for Spider-Man. Disney is the reason that we got Spider-Man. And Disney is the reason we was able to do the things like Disney. Like, Marvel went back, went to Disney so they can get all their their licenses and characters back. Disney is the that's what Disney's for to to build bring make Marvel a whole again. Like because after Endgame, they knew after Endgame, like they didn't have all their characters back. It was gonna be fucking hard as shit after that. Like there's not like all the characters we're finna get now is characters that were were gone away. Like and like they did like Marvel fucked up those sales back in the nineties, bro. It was so convoluted. Like Namor was owned by uh universal and fucking fox because he was a mutant but he was an atlantean and so the atlanteans fall under um the fantastic four because the fantastic four and namor fall first you see what i'm saying like it was so convoluted like how those rights were and so they just had to go the buy hulk is still over at universal though I mean, yeah, but the, oh, it's the only it's only the Hulk though because yeah. they was able to get all their characters back because they didn't make movies for so long, and so mm-hmm. Universal's contract is literally they have the rights to Hulk solo movies, but because they never used any character after that, they retroactively went back to Marvel. Just like if Sony, that's why Sony has to make Spider Man movies every so often because if they don't make a Spider-Man movie in like five years, it retroactively goes back to Marvel. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so Yeah, I knew that. Same thing with uh, Fox having to do Fantastic Four and X-Men movies because yeah, it was the same deal. If you don't if you don't do it for so long, they they retroactively go back. So when Marvel bought when Disney bought Fox, all those characters retroactively went back to Marvel. Everything. And but when Sony made the deal, they made the deal to where it's just you can use Spider Man, but all his characters we still had the rights to. That's why they're making Venom and shit now. Because mm-hmm. when they was making Spider Man movies and putting those characters in it, all that still fell under the contract line. But now 
that the, now that they technically aren't making Spider-Man movies, they are, but they aren't. They had they get all the toy sales and shit, but they have to make their revenue. They got to do something else, and so they got to they're making like Mobius and Venom and Craven right. the Hunter and shit like that. It's it's so crazy how those rights. Oh, oh that's what I forgot. What? You hear the news? Craven oh, has been casted. That's quick Quicksilver. He back from the dead. I want to Back from the dead. I'm I'm curious how that's gonna work out. I don't know, bro. I just, it's just dope. It's just dope that he's back. That he finally gets to get his shine for longer than a movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's technically, a, he has a movie in a quarter. He he, he had a role. <laughs> he could have a, he a role. Yeah, yeah, he had a role. Yeah. But yeah, they, um, I saw that. I was like. That's kind of interesting, considering you, one, you killed him off. I mean, we've seen that. Kind two, of- and two, you acknowledge you killed him off and that they changed his face or whatever in WandaVision. <laughs> yeah. So, imagine if Craven runs into Wanda. <laughs> She's like, Pietro, is that you? Bro, they should like do some mind tricks where no, nah, but for real though, he, we seen this coming. Like Marvel's getting so big to where they're gonna have to double dip some characters, some one off characters. Well they did. Um what's that other one that got double dipped? What? She was she was the female Cree that fought uh in Captain Marvel. I think she's Asian. And, who is and she she's recasted. Huh? Oh no, I gotta find her name. She's gonna be an inter- e- Eternals, I think. Oh. Yeah, like it, it was like I saw it in an article or something. I'm like, well, that's kind of awkward. But something about Marvel and Disney really liked her acting to the point where they're bringing her back for that, even though she was killed off in Captain Marvel. Well, damn, we'll, so, we'll just see. I, I, it's a, Marvel, it's so many, it's so much stuff now that's coming out. But they're they're gonna I, have to be recasting. Yeah, like I see, I see Michael B. Jordan getting recast eventually. Well, so if you recast him as a new character in Marvel in the MCU, would he bring him back as? I don't know. Can't be none in Black Panther though. Well, I mean, obviously. But I don't know. That's what I'm saying. He could. I don't know, bro. That's a lot they could do. So Gemma, I think it's yep, Gemma Chan. I don't know who that is. That's her name, G E M M A Chan. She was Doctor Something. Hold on, let me. <laughs> this she got cut off. People were probably wondering, you can't see that helmet. I can see the helmet. That was there for Chief. Let's see, worry. What is her name? Minerva, there we go, my bad. This is Minerva. And Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. The blue bitch? Yeah, I think she's blue. Why she gotta be a bitch, though? Because she was a bitch to my bitch, Captain Marvel. And in Eternals... She is going to be Cersei. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, but like I said, the article that I read, that apparently Marvel and Disney were happy with her uh, 
acting and like resurrected. Like we did Quicksilver twice. Yeah. I mean, it, it's here. I'm excited. Speaking of Eternals, they got to do some explaining on how they just let Thanos pull up. First off, Angelina Jolie's character, Thena, I think. So you just let your cousin pull up on Earth and just wipe out half of humanity and you ain't do shit. Not even this on Earth. He pulled up on the fucking universe. Bro, he was I'm run. Trying. He was running the universe for running. nine years, killing motherfuckers, and running you didn't do niggas. shit. Running through niggas. You better have. They better have the dopest explanation because fans are gonna be mad. I mean, us comic book people are gonna be like, "You're cool, whatever." But people like I'm starting to realize how many casual fans there are that really don't know shit. Like you would think that even still, like some you would think someone would do a little research. No, they don't give a fuck about the comics. They think that the comics are just they don't even know. I don't know. It's so strange. Like my it's hard for my brain to wrap around it. Mm-hmm. Like, how, and, like all the people that got mad because we have a black Captain America. Yeah, and it's just read like read a comic. Oh. And it's just like like y'all are really mad. Like and people are or, like, or the new ones, the new ones are getting mad because we're gonna have a female Thor. Ooh, yeah, like I'm just your like, precious bro. little balls are hurt. And I'm just like, bro. First off, Jane has some of the dopest Thor stories known to man, and it's just like, like I feel like her stories of Thor are way better than the story. Like not all of them, but she really changed like Thor's landscape as a whole. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I don't know, it just baffles me, like, how nobody's take the time to do any research. research. Yeah, and it's just, I don't know, bro, mm-hmm. it's, it's trippy. It's trippy when I think about it. And, I don't know, like, I, 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 it's one of those moments where I can't even, like, find the words to explain my frustration. I mean, I, I feel you because, I mean, I see some comments from people, you know, and I'm like, you know, you got people just, oh, you know, they're they're making a character into a colored character, or they're making a character into a gay character, or they're making a character into a female or another gender. First of all, that's been happening for fucking years in comics, you know, or, oh, they're making it too political. Comics have been political since the beginning. That's the literally. whole point of comics. That's the whole point of why Marvel is Marvel. Like they take everything real life and flip it. It's it's not a hundred percent make believe and make believe fucking cities like DC Comics. Mm-hmm. I mean, I bet people don't even know what DC stands for. Detective right. Comics. Right. Stupid. <laughs> Go pick up a comic, dumbass. And how Marvel came from action comics, and that's why it's so like, Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they booted Stan Lee because they didn't like his type of stories. Because they thought he was very liberal or whatever. They didn't want to publish his shit, so he had to go get bankrupt to do his shit. Yeah, they they fuck they they but look how would look what he ended up doing like he ended up like bringing them out of it single handedly. Mm-hmm. Single handedly. But uh, I mean, not single single handedly. He had John Kirby. He had a couple. He had a. Yeah, I'm gonna say he had a couple hands like Chris, Chris, Chris Claremont Chris. helped out revive it. What's my what's my dude? Uh, uh. Don't say his name. Don't say his name. He wrote Fantastic Four in the late nineties, early two thousands. Uh, didn't say his name. No, don't say his name. Hold on. Hold on. I did. I already did. No, not Chris Claremont did X Men. Oh yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, Chris Claremont did X Men, and then um, this dude did Fantastic Four, Avengers, and um. Damn, now I'm mad. Hold on. Now, 
Now you got me thinking. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jonathan Hickman. Hickman. Yep. Jonathan Hickman. He wrote he wrote all the Fantastic Four Avengers comics. Which I, I was never big on Fantastic Four. And to be honest, like I was never big on I mean, I knew about the Avengers and Fantastic Four and you know, all these other groups and Marvel, whatever, but I was always I was always into the X Men series and basically anything that came from X Men, X Factor, X Force Caliber, X Uncanny X Men, mm-hmm. Alpha Flight, Wolverine stories, uh and whatnot. Uh Spider Man once in a while popped up in there. Punisher I used to love Punisher a lot. Yeah. I mean they could they could also do the Phalanx one. Mm-hmm. Phalanx for the second of the mutants. I wanna do a uh not days of future past but days of future present where they I want them. House of M. We got a taste of that. We got a taste of that, but we got it. I know we, we got a get, taste. We ain't gonna get House of M till later, 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 later. I know, but I want it. They're like, bro. Yeah, yeah. House of M. You think it'll be a two part if they ever did it? Two or three part. It, it could be its own trilogy for real. House of M is gonna have to be a whole phase. <laughs> hey, right? To go. I, 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 you can't. You can't. You can't do House of M in two, three movies. House of M has to be what they did with Phase 1, 2, 3, 4, but maybe just in one phase, maybe like a series of six movies or something. Yeah. With like, with the ending movie going into the next phase and bringing all the mutant into the rest of the MCU. You, you see what yeah, I'm saying? The ending, the ending movie of... Uh, uh, of House of M, if they ever did it, has to go into mutants versus the Inhumans, or uh, X Men versus the Avengers, or X Men versus Inhumans. Now, what was after well, the here's the thing: the, the way they could they could play it out is, you know, because in the comics, Inhumans and mutants are so similar and the like. Mm-hmm. In House of M, you could literally have all the mutants introduced with the Inhumans have the what, what, what event was it that the start of the Secret Wars or the Civil War? Civil War. Um, the Civil War. No, 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 no. The Inhumans, something, I forgot what happened with the Inhumans that started the Civil War saga in the comics. With the registration act, if you remember correctly, I'm trying to think. There was an there was an implosion or something. Led to civil war. Yeah, but there was a specific incident with Inhumans, the Thunderbolts, Mm -hmm. that led to the registration act, which led to the civil war. Oh no 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 no! That wasn't Inhumans. It was the Thunderbolts when they blew up the elementary school. They blew up the elementary school. You know, you, you gotta have something with House of M to do something to that point where it's gonna introduce the Inhumans and the Mutants, where that last movie is going to start the conflict of the Avengers or New Avengers or whatever versus the X Men or Mutants because they cause some kind of paradox or event but if you remember, that the Avengers think, feel they need to come in and defend. But you remember in House of M the, the Avengers came the Avengers is what started the House of M because they well, yeah, no, came in well, that's what I'm saying. I mean but the MCU is not going to go the MCU is not going to go comic for comic but word for word because no, they never yeah. have. But so they, that's I, what I'm saying. They can go Start a phase where it's X Men, even Fantastic Four, Inhuman, House of M kind of feel to it. The last movie is going to lead off into a conflict with the Avengers, the the superheroes that are not weird humans or per se. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
They could do this. So that, that second so that that phase ends, the next phase starts, the next phase starts as a bunch of fights between each other, which would lead to the end of that phase by uniting versus, let's say, Kang. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's some idea. I'm not saying it should happen like that, but... They can do House of M, like the beginning movie is like the um, Avengers Disassemble story. And then have it mm-hmm. being them them arguing over Scarlet Witch's power, and then Scarlet Witch runs off, and then does the House of M story, and then while that's going on, you got Avengers Disassemble going on simultaneously, mm-hmm. and so we're leading into this like parallel art to where we get to where um it could go into like this. No, no, no. I mean, it. bringing in the Fantastic Four, bringing Silver Surfer, Galactus. No, 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 no. That's that's too typical. I'm so I'm so tired of hearing about Galactus. There's so much other beings that's better than. Yeah, you. but I mean, you got to start off small, bro. I mean, they started off small with Thanos. I know, but like Galactus isn't really a threat. He's just hungry, and they just talk him out of shit. It's lame as fuck. Like, I feel like they should just use him for what he really is, is like a fucking being. But now that you mentioned Galactus, they could intertwine that story. Like, you got Avengers Disassemble, House of M, and then the story arc where they find the dead Galactus, which leads to Franklin Richards coming from the future. And then all that starts intertwining. You know what I'm saying? And then we can lead into um, the... Yeah, at least the Beyonders, they find, like, um, Franklin Richard comes from the future, and you find Galactus's dead body. And so you can have Avengers Disassemble going, House of M going, and then Beyonders, well, not really Beyonders, Galactus' dead body, and then Franklin Richard, like, they can intertwine to her, like, Scarlet Witch has to come back to her senses and fix everything because what she's leading to is, you know, the Beyonders. And in retrospect, when she fixes everything, she didn't fix it how it was supposed to be. And it leads to like a a big ass cataclysmic event. And because everybody separated, everybody did. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean that that's another possibility and like, you know, like I said there's so many story arcs throughout the history of Marvel Comics that they can adapt any of them in any way they want multiple ways uh-huh. exactly and intertwine multiple stories Mm-hmm. And, and you know, and that's the thing about uh, Disney Marvel. They're not going word for word, comic for comic. Like they're creating their own stories while adapting the ones from some of the most popular. No, and that's why I think it's doing so well because they're not. Hopping literally from the pages to the to the movie, and mm-hmm. I think that's what's fucking up with DC because they are literally copying, trying to do pages to the movies. Mm-hmm. And and you know, but you also got to look at it this way because Fox was trying to do the same thing, and Josh Whedon was part of Fox at one point. Even Kevin Feige was part of Fox at one point with that Marvel. Yeah, but Josh Whedon was part of Fox when they was doing the original trilogy, which was pretty yeah. pretty good for what it was. For what it was, I mean, but they were they were in essence doing what Disney Marvel is doing, which is creating their own type of stories based on comics without going word for word, and they were not successful the way. Marvel, Disney, it's being successful. 
feel like I feel like DC isn't successful because their stories are too unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Like Marvel since day one has always been set in realism and had a logical way of explaining things like scientifically, mm-hmm. even if it was magic. DC just writes shit and be like, oh, magic, that's the end all be all. That's the thing, though. I mean, and people got to understand that when Detective Comics started, they just started as Detective Comics. It was a detective running around doing detective work, whatever. And later started adapting, you know, sci-fi beyond the mystic, um, make-believe, made-up places, stories. And that's what it was, and that's what it's always going to be. I mean, not really. Superman's always been magic and magic-based. and Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's you know, sci-fi. It, it's, it's made up. Nothing realistic to, to it. Metropolis. Uh, yeah, yeah, it every... looks like New York, but it's not a, not a real place. Versus mm-hmm. Spider-Man, New York, from the get-go. Fantastic Four, X-Men, New York, from the get-go. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, they kept it... Marvel made believable. some make-believe places like Krakoa and... Well, speaking of Krakoa, did you see that uh, the Easter egg and Loki mm-hmm. when they mentioned Krakoa? No. Oh, my I'm gosh, a- dude. What I'm saying is to the extent that what's happening on Earth, you look at Marvel compared to DC. DC has uh, Central City, Gotham, Metropolis, uh, and all these other make believe cities. And none of them, I mean, uh, minus Superman, Man of Steel, talks about Kansas. <laughs> uh, nobody ever mentions any other parts of the world, really, in those comics. Except for Constantine. Marvel, but Constantine's like, he deals in like I never LA read Paris Constantine. Print. Yeah, I never really got, got into Constantine, so I, I won't be able to make any comment on that. But, yeah. You know, Marvel always based it in real life places, real life events. Captain mm-hmm. America, dude, come on. The dude was fucking punching Hitler. Yeah. In comics. Yeah. I mean, when they put that in that movie, wasn't, hey, we're going to do it. Just no, he literally did it in the comics. Mm hmm. So, I mean, there's I mean, people that like that. Superman, Superman. Thing. But what. I mean, Superman did the same thing during World War II, but they didn't want Superman yeah, to be didn't. like, he didn't fight nobody. He was the one helping the troops and stuff, and they kind of like, right. I don't know, it was weird. Like, they was depressed and stuff because of Superman. He wasn't there trying to, like, he wasn't uplifting. He was like helping, he was just helping the troops. And like, right now, like that, and- they got that rule of DC where, um, what you call it, where they don't interfere with um, human affairs. Mm-hmm. Which is weird. But... Captain America, dude. In the comics, you know. Um, but, you know, you got people... If, if you do it right, you can you can do what Marvel is doing. Um, because people like stories that are make-believe, that are not based on realism, because they're going to use that as their escape. You know, sure, mm-hmm. people are going to use Marvel as something that they can connect to because they live in New York or they live in San Francisco or wherever. Mm-hmm. But for people that want to escape that reality, they're going to look to DC. They're going to look to uh, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, you know, to these faraway places that don't actually exist. And that's that's where they find their solace, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's just, I think, Warner Brother executives are 
too hands-on. Um, they need to find someone to let control of anything having to do with DC movies and just let them handle it the way their business is letting Kevin Feige do it. Just Marvel. go do it. You handle it. You know? Yeah, yeah Marvel. Um, and just do that. You know? Hire Zack Snyder or Josh Whedon or whatever and just... But that's what Zack Snyder here, was here. until... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They I'm got impatient. Here, do it. But they gotta let, but what Warner Bros. and DC gotta understand, they gotta let that person work, not hover over them and force them to do And shit. that's what Warner Bros. does. I mean, you can tell by the constant firing, rehiring, recasting, re scripting, nothing, rebooting. Nothing is set in stone ever. Nothing is ever set in stone. Nothing. And you look at what happened with Tim Burton, the first two Tim Burton movies. Batman, dude, fucking great movies. Mm-hmm. And then you hire uh, Schottheimer, whatever his name is. For is what? I don't know. I can't remember. Marty, no, not Marty Schottheimer is a fuck football coach. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> it's just, he's a he's an action really director, uh, uh, huh? Oh, I can go see. Him. But, yeah. but then you you bring in a different guy and you fuck shit up. Were you, were you pulling out the DVD? Yeah. Which um, one? Let me see. It. Put it on Wow, you actually bought that shit? Yeah, I got all the you better. Ask, you better ask for your money back. No. At least half of it, because two of those movies suck ass. Nah, bro. I bought it because I wanted to watch it in Blu-ray. Because I have the, yeah. I have the DVDs, but they're like on a 4K TV. The quality is so bad now. So like, what the regular DVDs? Yeah, bro. Like on a 4K. Oh, 4K? No shit. Bad. I might have to go try that. I might have some DVDs lying around here somewhere. All I know is I love my 4K TV. If anybody's looking for a 4K TV, I recommend just because I have it, the Sony Bravia sure. with the X1. Joel, Joel, Joel Schumacher. Schumacher. Yeah, Joel Schumacher. Schumacher. You were right. Yeah, that was close. Schoenheimer, Schumacher. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, like, he's an action movie director, like, he makes good action movies. Don't get me wrong, but the storytelling on the they don't make shit like this no more. They don't. But you know, that's Warner Brothers for you. And if they see this video, yep, fuck you, Warner Brother executives. Don't zoom me though, bitch. I ain't got shit. You can sue him though. He has a nice microphone. I don't know where the hell he went though. I'm over here talking to myself. Dancing with my side out. Oh, oh, oh. First off, I'm not getting sued for shit because of you. But no, I was uh, pulling this up. Like. Nice. You see what year it is? No oh, man, I see glare fool. The collection nineteen forties, wow. Yeah, all this shit is on black and white, dude. This this one's pretty dope. They cleaned it up and shit, but uh and I got the full like uh the Batman like uh the uh nineteen sixties T V show and I got this uh Dark Knight Trilogy. That looks dope. Is that Blu ray or is that 4K? It's Blu ray, but I got both of them. Like the original okay. one and then the re release. Nice. Yeah. I got, I got, I think I got them in Blu ray too, but. 
But this was my favorite because it comes with like all the artwork and stuff. Oh, okay. Like, uh, we'll look into it because I got the uh, the Blu ray one, so I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get the 4K. Because me growing up, my favorite characters for DC have always been Batman and Joker. As you can tell, I got a Joker sitting on my right shoulder over here. No, nah, growing up, I like I fucked with. I always loved Batman. My dad's a Batman fan, but I like Superman because he was like the first character I seen that could fly and all that extra shit. Mm -hmm. And then when I started like watching other cosmic heroes, I just started realizing that Superman ain't shit, bro. Like you got all that power for what? Like I don't know nothing. Like I could tell like his stories were just so cheesy, and nothing about him like stood out to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, you know, between Superman and Captain America, it's, it's always the same thing. Even when they have their dark times, it's always some kind of influence and they go back to being the righteous person and all this bullshit. You know, Batman's appeal was always, he's a regular guy doing doing his thing, you know, whether it's a good thing or not, you know, if he's a vigilante technically, he's not doing something good. He's Batman doing it because he wants to. Shit. Yeah. You know, and growing up, you want to be Batman. But then you become an adult and you want to be Joker. And you realize you are Joker. I really am sometimes. I mean, mine is the killing. <laughs> and robbing. I don't know. Sure about I mean, that. if I knew that there was like less technology in the world without the CCTV cameras and all this shit, I'd think about it. <laughs> I'd probably do it. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Still don't give a fuck about all the CCTV shit. They still do that shit, man. With my luck, I'd probably get caught like within an hour. Man, that bitch will do it before you leave the scene of the crime. Right. But, you know, whatever. So, talk about the next thing. Uh, this guy right here. See this guy right here? E3 as a whole is trash, but Xbox really showed up and showed out, bro. Did you watch their show? I, I, I watched, because uh, I, didn't, I didn't watch the whole E3. I, I was busy, so I had to do like a recap. Yeah, I knew you would be happy with um, Xbox show. Because, you know, that's, that's your home. The Obviously, hearing that Halo is actually going to be, it was fixed because it didn't look like shit. And then I got to watch the trailer on the 4K TV, which, bro, that shit was Infinite looks sick. good. I almost traded in. I almost did the uh, GameStop sale where you trade in, like, your old consoles. Like, I was going to trade in my um, PS4 Slim. My OG Xbox and my Switch, my Switch Lite for Series X. I couldn't do it because it'll be different. It was the uh, the base consoles, but it was my Xbox One Halo Edition. My Don't do PS, that. Exactly. Right, <laughs> that alone, no. And it's the Halo Five one, the one with the uh, Master Chief sounds, the, the special mm -hmm. looking one. My PS4. Final Fantasy PS4 15 and you know they don't ever release a system like once every 10 years or once every mm -hmm. like once an once an anniversary or whatever and so that was my first like Final Fantasy system and it was that one and it was 15 and it has a big ass moon on it and you know how I am about that shit I was like I can't do yeah. that one you gotta you gotta we gotta where you cut screen and show that nice artwork you got. Yeah, it's on my it's on my YouTube and stuff. It's, I'm like I've been putting putting it everywhere. Like it's my it's it's my watermark. When you if you was paying attention to my stream, if you look at the top yeah, left hand right. corner, it's right there or whatever. But it she she didn't she got to give me a, a bigger size version because I can only make it so big without right. it getting distorted. But, uh, I'll um, get on that. Um, but in case nobody ever is wondering what the hell, you know, show it and then. Um, uh, hold on, my daughter. If I can show it real quick, hold on. Uh, yeah, there you go. 
that so we'll get a bigger thing. screen. Um, my daughter, uh, 15 year old, is, was commissioned to draw that off description. And uh, yeah, dude. so if anybody wants some artwork done, mm-hmm. I'm going to pay my 15 year old daughter and encourage her. And DM, DM us, we'll get on it. We'll get on it. Um, but, yeah, I'll get I'll get the bigger side this one. And then the switch is my Pokemon Switch Lite, and you know how hard it is Pokemon shit to get Pokemon shit. And after after five years, those shit skyrocket through the roof. How expensive they get? So, dude, did, can, did you hear about that? Uh, people, Target stopped selling. Pokemon cards? Pokemon cards, because people yeah, are fighting. Bro. Yeah. Like, and that, dude, and that, Pokemon cards were, everywhere. like, dead for a while, and now all of a sudden, everybody's fucking buying so Pokemon cards. What happened, so what happened was, like, Pokemon, the Pokemon company, Nintendo, has been rejuvenating the franchise, and they, mm-hmm. started, they started on the 15th anniversary when they did Sun and Moon and all that. I think not the 15th anniversary. It was the uh, 20th anniversary. My fault. Damn, we're old. So the twentieth anniversary started rejuvenating everybody. I'm in my prime, and then, <laughs> and then now we're we're on the the tw- the cusp of the twenty fifth anniversary, and now they're starting to, they're starting to do the little hype stuff, re releasing mm-hmm. some old cars, bringing back certain mods, and hi- basically hyping it up to where like every generation you have the new generation, and then whatever remake they make, and so now it's mm-hmm. the fourth generation remake, which was the DS era. And those okay. games are coming back. So all those mo- Pokemons are starting to get their shine again and get remake and get new cars and get new, like, all this extra shit. And they just, right. ju- they just juicing it up. So, and and then and then um, they did the, uh, no, we are in the 20th. This year is the 25th anniversary. And, like, they did the uh, special event with McDonald's. They was giving away cars like they did back in the 90s with Happy Meals and shit and, and people know from the 90s, those cars were only found in the Happy Meal. So now people didn't even hesitate this time. They went and got all those cars and kept them in the packs and kept them sealed and shit. And a lot of people were like, like, oh, excuse me. People were fighting over that. So when they did the same anniversary pack at Target, same shit. So, um... When I was looking at the Switch, I was just like, I'll probably get it here in a minute. I was just like, I know I'm going to be pissed because I bought the 20th anniversary faceplate um, DS. Mm-hmm. And I kept the Pokemon faceplate, but I don't have the system anymore. And just not having that alone and trying to find that one system is hard as fuck now. And the faceplates alone are going on sale for like three to $500. You know what I'm saying? So like I already know that once I would have got rid of that switch light, I would have been sick to my stomach. So and then I'm not getting rid of the one X because I want the 4K Blu-ray player on my TV. So when I get my Series X, it can be on on the desk right here with my PS5. And then when I lay in the bed, I want to like be able to watch all my DVDs and stuff on the TV again. But I almost did it like a dumbass. I almost did it. I was going to be mad. I almost did it. Yeah. I'd have been pissed. As yeah. Well. I'm not uh, planning on doing any as far well, I mean I don't trade in shit. No I've been no big anymore. on Halo, whatever. I'm not going to trade anything in because I sold my old Xbox. I sold my old PS4. I only got my PS5 right now. Um, but, one, I'm glad the, it's not going to be released in 2022. What? I'm Halo? glad, two, I'm glad they fixed all the fucking jacked up graphics. Yeah, and three, it's gonna be released at the end of this year, which I'm fine with because if they release a Halo uh, 
Steam Xbox. I don't think they I'm are. I'm gonna man. buy that. You don't think they'll? I don't know. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait too, but I don't know, man. I just don't see it. Like, I don't know. They would have announced it by now. I doubt it. I mean, they're just now announced. You gotta remember, they're just now announcing the game being released at the end of this year, when originally it was supposed to release last year, but then they yeah. pushed it to 2022. Now they're pushing. Now they're bringing it back to this year. It wasn't ever I mean, 2022. Yeah. At one point, they were saying it was going to be released in 2022. Yep. Well, that, I, I was mean, like, I, cool. I mean, I always seen it as like a, you know, a, you know, Microsoft not going to let them let that slide. Like, you know, they were yeah. like, whatever. It's on the fucking back of the Series X <laughs> box. Like, you know, it was coming sometime soon. But it does look good. I, I, that and you know me and Forza, bro. When I seen that new Forza, I was like, oh my gosh. I need and, that, you know, bro. Speaking of Forza, I'm I'm still waiting for Gran Turismo to be released on PS5 because that shit. Bro, man, that game has been radio silent, man. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. But I seen Forza, I'm just like, damn, Forza looks amazing. Bro, Forza looks so fucking good. It looks really good, but I will say that the gameplay that I saw for Gran Turismo, the graphics still look better on Gran Turismo than the do on Forza. But oh yeah, oh yeah, compared to the last Forza, you to know. this Forza, that... oh it's night and day. But that's the cr- mm-hmm. but that's the crazy part when you start looking at exclusive. So PlayStation did something phenomenal, man. Like for so Forza isn't going to be. Ray, it's going to have ray tracing only when you're looking at your cars in your garage. But when you're playing a game, it doesn't have ray tracing. That alone makes a, a makes a world difference. When you look at Gran Turismo with ray tracing, like in full, like playing, like dude, it looks fucking crazy. But well, there is a game that I saw in a cap, a recap, man. I gotta, I gotta find that recap and see what game it was. Mm-hmm. Like. It's going through water and just the, the reflection off the water. Dude, dude, it's a puddle. It's a puddle of water. And the reflection looks like, dude, well, what the fuck? And then the the Jurassic Park game. Are you kidding me, dude? That shit looked like it was a fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I was like, is this the movie or is this a video game? What, what What's going on here? Now, let me ask you this. Are you upset about how the Guardians of the Galaxy game looked? Because people was tripping on that, and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna be in the middle. Mm-hmm. Why? And I understand that the video game developers cannot use the likeness of actors mm-hmm. unless they got permission from the studio or whatever. They're not gonna pay half a million dollars uh, to yeah. five million dollars per actor. So. In that sense, I'm disappointed because there's, I mean, Rocket looks like Rocket, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Raccoons all look the same, so that's probably why. <laughs> but I like how they gave him a goatee. But I like how they look. Yeah. I love the comic book accuracy. Like, look at Gamora. She looks just dress. like her. Com- yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and um, Quill is the only. Peter's the only one that's just like, eh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like he's just a typical white boy out of fucking. Amber I mean, Crumbia. other than that, it looks it looks great. Um, I like that it's gonna be a single player story. I wish That's... I here's the only issue I have with it. I wish, being that it's the Guardians of the Galaxy, it's a group that they would have made a kind of like in Ultimate Alliance, where you can switch between characters. No, I wish it was co-op. I, I like that it's single player, but I wish or it was co-op. Like couch yeah, co-op. using co-op too. I wish People, it was couch Ultimate co-op. Alliance. Ultimate Alliance was co-op. Yeah, um, like, but you like, can I, also go between different characters and everything. I wish that like you could um instead of switching between the two, I wish like when you started like you can play. I want to play as Gamora and play the game through as Gamora and shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And nothing changes the story, but you're just playing right. as Gamora. Where you playing as Dragon. But you could you could also do like like I said, an ultimate alliance. And if you remember back in 
the 90s on the X-Men games on Sega, you could pick what character and depending on what level you use one character or the other and the story was the same. Yeah. Same thing with Ultimate Alliance. Same no, thing but they like could have done this on here. No, but like, I, I get like how like why you got to play as Peter, which well, I yeah, feel like the main. you play through the... Yeah, like he's the leader. But I feel like if you play through the game again, beat it as Peter, like, you know, because you got to do the voice choices and shit. But mm-hmm. I wish that like once you beat it, like the replayability would be, you can play as whoever you want to now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, who knows? With, or, with the technology nowadays, they could probably add that as a DLC. You know what I'm saying? Or like, say like, it's my like we're playing my my save file, and you join me. Mm-hmm. You can pick whoever else as long as I'm Peter. And when I join your save file, you're Peter, but I pick whoever else. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish they did some stuff like that, which they could, like you said, we're in a new age now, they could do that, but that's the only thing that I wish would have came from mm-hmm. the uh, Guardians, but and, and I like... Other missing, than that, it, the graphics are fucking amazing. Yeah, and... Uh, fucking, and other, it looks dope as shit. I wish and, they would have done that with the fucking Avengers Avenger game. And I still haven't played that game. I'm curious to play it, but I want to play it now because of the Wakanda story coming because they said the DLC is free since they botched the release, which I'm willing to play now. I just don't want to like grind and do all that extra bullshit that they said mm-hmm. you got to do in the game. I'm, I'm going to wait till the game is free because I'm pretty sure it's going to be free. No, nah, they ain't. They, give, they done marked it. It's been $20 for I don't know how long, bro. So. Well, I haven't even checked it's been, on sale, it's been on sale for $20. I don't know about uh, with the with the regular prices, I think the regular price is like forty on PS5. Right. It may be twenty on PS4, but yeah. And speaking on games, how fucked up is it that they had to go put stupid ass fucking Tom Brady on the fucking cover of Madden? Fuck you, Tom Brady. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see none of that. What they they talked about Madden and uh in all the sports games? Where was that? Um, I don't think they talked about it on E3 because I didn't see it on any recap. But yeah, I, didn't see, I, I watched E3 all week and I didn't see none of that shit. Yeah, but you know me, dude. I'm a football fan, so fuck you, Tom Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady the GOAT, bro. You just got to accept it. Get off his nuts, bro. No, nah, I'm not on his nuts, man, but he just, man. He... Get off his nuts, bro. He ain't the GOAT. <laughs> uh, what else? What else for E3? What else for E3? I don't know, man. Um, like Nintendo as a whole, one, that space uh, game. There's a space game. It looks so fucking realistic too. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I gotta get those two names of those two games. What Starfield? I think it is Starfield. Yeah, the new Bethesda game, or whatever. <laughs> it's something about a space rocket or something. Some guy looking Russian. I don't know. Looking Russian. I don't know. I'll find. I'll what find it. Was the dude? Was the dude just sitting in a chair on the moon? I think trailers? so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was so. that was um, that was uh. St- and then he gets in the yeah. space shuttle, right? He's about to take off or something. In Starfield, yeah. Yeah, and the graphics look amazing on that. I don't know what the fuck the game's about. But... They said it was in injury, but we're gonna see. They they gotta show gameplay. I'm not trusting Bethesda anything okay. until they. Show I got two more right. games, and then. Uh, Ages of Empire. I think Ages it's only going to be a PC game. I thought it was coming to Xbox and too. Is it? Okay. That'll be great. I mean, I'm just blown away how fucking clean the graphics look. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I remember the old Age of Empires and that shit was like, the fuck? This new one looks fucking fluid as hell, dude. Like, I was like, damn. That, and then yeah, the number I mean, one yeah. that really blew me back, I mean, aside from Halo, mm-hmm. Metroid. Dread? Bro, that took me back. Metroid Dread? I don't know, but it looked like the old school Metroid. Yeah, the the, the side scroller. Yeah, 2D. Yeah, yeah that's, Met- that's Metroid Dread. Metro- well, Metroid 5, technically, but. Bro, you know, that, that shit looks. You You're know, that took that? me back, bro. That's a new bag, think, bro. I ain't like, think he's gonna be excited for that one. Come on, man. Got, I'm an OG. I'm OG. Any I know. Bro. I know you are. That's what I'm saying. I just didn't expect that. I was thinking you was gonna say something about like, um, what was that one game? Um, 
the Vans Wars and stuff. And the one that the game that um damn I can't think of them. They they shoot they was like shooting the guns and stuff, but it's like they made it to like a tactile tactile game or whatever. Rainbow Six? No, 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 no. It was on it was on the Switch press conference. I can't think of it. I had to go back and look. Oh, okay. But uh Nah man. Metro got me excited. I'm I'm thinking about getting a switch just because of that now. No, you got to now because you've been wanting to play. What's the other game you've been wanting to play? Ultimate Alliance 3. Yeah, so now you got Ultimate Alliance and you got Metroid. You got a reason to get it. Metroid around the corner now. Bro, man, I'm telling you, man, when I was, I was watching the game, oh, Metroid. They, they, and then I just see going side scroll and I'm like, all right, they're going to switch it up and go some 3D, 4D shit, right? And the guy's like, nope, the whole game is like this. I'm like, no, take it back. Mouth, mouth drop. Take it all the oh, way shit. back. Uh, speaking of Switch, what was the other Switch game? I, I'm excited for that Monster Hunter uh, Stories too. That shit looks dope. Um, I know you're excited for Final Fantasy. Uh, everybody was so upset about the uh, the trailer, of Strangers in Paradise, uh, Final mm-hmm. Fantasy Origin, which I get it. He, the, they did not. The first impressions was not there. The way they chopped up the trailer was not it. The way they did the voice dialogue was not it. And the dude like looked looked like some fucking dude leaving Walmart that got teleported to a Final Fantasy game. Mm-hmm. And now he out here killing shit. No, well, no. Basically the same thing that happened to the Halo Infinite trailer last year. Like everybody's like, Yeah, no, what the fuck but is no, going it on? looks it looks straight. It just looks dingy. Like the gra- like the graphics and the art style just looks dingy <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying like it looks like everything just dark and shit but the demo the demo i downloaded the demo i ain't played it yet i was just i was i was debating on if i wanted uh to record it while i play it or whatnot but it's uh i'm getting that like that's automatic anything final fantasy is called except for seven remake i'm not buying it i'm not gonna waste my money on that until it's completed if i even get it when it's completed because i hate how they're they're milking the fans of Final Fantasy VII. And I hate how Final Fantasy VII gets priority over all the other Final Fantasies. That's amazing. Everything always goes back to seven, and it pisses me off. But that's another story. Uh, Final Fantasy Origins looks dope. Um, Guardians... Horizon, Halo. That Stalker 2. That Stalker 2 looks amazing. The first game they showed up. games that I saw on that uh, it was like a recap video. They look great. I mean, but they don't really grab my attention, but the graphics look fucking amazing. You gotta lie on that. Like, that's one, that, and that was my thing. Like, some of them look like, oh, okay, that looks cool. They looked interesting. And like rarely any any of them was like I need that. Like Stalker Two was one of those games. I was like I was intrigued. I want to know more about it. Like I don't know. It was the first game they showed at the Halo conference. Like I mean, not the Halo conference, the Microsoft conference. And I was right. just sitting there like that. That game is the first one that like looks next gen and looks like important enough for me to like buy that one. So. I want to get that. I was talking about um. I said the other game, the other game that uh, I want uh, the other game that interests me was Death Stranding's director's cut by the creator of Metal Gear. How do, I don't how think do you... I saw that on the on the recap that I that I watched. Mm-hmm. It went over thirty games, but. Uh, I don't think I don't think I saw that one on there. Well, no, it's not an Xbox game. It was just it's his own thing. Okay. Like it's a P, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Nate, did you see that uh, Elden Ring or whatever? Uh, yeah, I seen the trailer for that one. Wait, have oh. you seen the trailer to Elden Ring? You should have seen Director's Cut because that was on the same um. That was on the same broadcast, so it should oh, have been it? the same. Yeah, like. Well, no, I sh- I was watching the recap by somebody else. I think. 
Oh, well, right. I mean, the director's cut of what you call it was right before Elden Ring, like okay. a couple games before. Look it up. But, um, yeah, even that game, I don't know what the hell it's based off of, but the graphics is crazy on it. Oh, yeah. Elden Ring, have you never played like Dark Souls or Bloodborne? No, you didn't because. Nah, like, never yeah. did. Elden Ring is from the creators of those people. So, like, it's up. If you play those games, then you will love Elden Ring. And I'm getting Elden Ring. And that shit is going to be epic. Yeah, I'm not getting and any George, games you tell me you're getting. Because last time I got a game that you told me you're getting, I ended up playing it by myself. No, bro. These are story mode games. Like, look, a lot of the games I play are, like, single-player games and shit. Like, the ones that capture me and I, like, dive deep in. But the things about, like, games like Bloodborne and and Dark Souls and shit, like, you can play with people, too. You just got, It's like a weird, like, like setup, but you could like, explore the world with your friend. Okay. And, but, if I, if I come to your game, that opens your world up people can invade your game and you got to fight them. It's just dope as fuck. Okay. Yeah, you just... Still not buying up. it. What? You just still not buying it? Well, still Elden not Ring. buying it. Well, you, you, you got a PS5, so they gave you uh, Bloodborne for free, so you can try it out and play it. Oh, for real? Yeah, like, you never looked at the PS Plus collection? I do, but... You don't know the play from I'm busy it. playing. Well, at first I was busy playing GTA Five, but GTA which I took so off, but I'll probably get it back. Uh, what? GTA is so old, bro. Like it's the same mm-hmm. shit over and over again. Your shit. I was. I was trying. I was trying to collect my money so I can build my garages back up the way I had it. Back no, I Xbox. I know why you play. Why you was playing it, but it's just like. I don't know. We was playing it. We played it so much back on the Xbox, bro. Like, yeah. I could not. I could not do the same thing again. Like, I just, oh. I'm not gonna put the same oh. amount of hours, bro. We played Madden. So much I had Madden. FIFA. FIFA was bought cheap. Mm-hmm. Miles Morales. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm getting ghosts later, but I'm almost done with that. Madden. NBA 2K21, mm-hmm. MLB 20, the show 21, when that came out, I pre-ordered that. Uh, Rogue Squadron, I was playing that for a bit. Uh, Tony Hunt, that shit was dope. Oh, I got Rogue Squadron now. Is it worth the download? Should I play through it? Yeah, I haven't finished the story because I took it off Yeah, right now, but I'm going to put it back on to finish the story. Um, what else? I played so many fucking games. I don't even remember which ones I've been playing. Um, you need to be Ghost. That should be your main priority. That's that's been my main priority. I just haven't had time, honestly. No, nah, yeah, I, um, I, I get it. I want to finish it before my daughters come visit because my daughter is gonna want to play. I want to download Spider Man so she can test it out because she plays on her Xbox. She doesn't play PlayStation. But I want her to at least, you know, try Spider-Man because she likes that open world kind of game like Red Dead Redemption. I'm like, dude, you're going to love Ghost. You're going to love Spider-Man. You should have gave her the PS5 instead of your nephew. No, because I got paid back for the PS5. And I'm not that rich. (laughs) (laughs) If I I was rich, I would have gave it to her. But you know what? I think I ended up asking her, and she said she didn't want one. So. Oh, well. But I ended up getting the Xbox, the new Xbox. I'll probably have to get her one, just because. Wait, you yeah. said you 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 got when you, you got it. You're going to end up getting it, or you already got it. The Xbox, I'm gonna get. Oh, okay. if, they, if they end up announcing there's gonna be a Halo. Theme Xbox. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pre-order that. I hope they do because I want a Halo theme Xbox. If I see there's no announcement or plans for a Halo theme Xbox, then I'll just get the digital Xbox because I don't really need the discs. But it still play. It's not gonna be in 4K and shit. Yes. It no, it's not. Yeah, 
it is. No, it's not, bro. Yeah, it is. The new oh, Xbox? The Xbox Series S does not output. Some games can output in 4K, but not every. If it's a game that's like hardware, uh, software extensive, like Halo is going to be, it's going to be 1080p, 30 frames a second, not maybe 1080p, 60 frames, but it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to play it in 4K, the digital one. Like if you want the, if you want to guarantee 4K gameplay, you've got to get the Series X. I'm going to look that up. Look it up. That's the whole point of the Series X and the Series S. Like the Series S is literally like even if you play a backwards compatible game that can be played in 4K, it's still going to give you the Series. The well, series, I mean, I get uh, that, but the the Xbox One version in 1080p. It won't even play so the it's Series X versus version. Series S. Not going to do it. It want it barely does 1440p games, bro. It's not worth it. That's why I said, like, I mean, if you just want to be able to just have it and to play the, the Xbox games, and by all means, don't let me stop you. But if you want a 4K experience and stuff, you got to get the Series X. Damn, I guess you are right. Fucking, I hate you. Bro, I know what the fuck I talk about. I study this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. That's why you mad, bro. Why would they make two different versions? Why would they make two different versions if they can do the same thing? PlayStation did. Yeah, but it's the exact same system. The exact same. Like, look at you can look at Intel like one's weaker. Well, you know like, what? Why would they why would they let you get a three hundred dollar console? Is. We don't even know if, if, like, maybe by the end of this year, they're going to announce a slimmer digital 4K Xbox, too. They're not going to, bro. That's the whole reason they, like, they barely was able to fit all the components in the size of the Series X. They can't make it no slimmer until, like, later. And even then, it's just like... No, I'm not they talking want... about Series X. Yes, I'm talking about Series X. 4K. That's what I'm talking about. They couldn't, they already couldn't with the stuff that they got in there. Like it couldn't, they had to cut the board in half. Like if you go look up like the how they made it, the board mm-hmm. was so big that they cut it in half and put it side by side like this inside the box. And they just looped the wires around so they can like do what they did. Like that's how small that's how they was able to get it smaller. Than the original plan. It was supposed to be a big ass PC tower, bro. Like, look how big that PS5 is. Like, and the only reason that I'm they're looking big, dude. I remember exactly. I took this shit out the box. I was like, God, you, damn. bro. I still have my PS3, and the PS3 was the biggest system ever until that PS5 got out of that box. And now it's just like, remember, the, remember when the first the, the PS3 came out? We were like, fuck, this shit is huge. Yeah, this is a ginormous, and it still was forever. Even it still was bigger than the PS4 base PS4, and everybody mm-hmm. thought the PS4 was fat as fuck. And then it's still bigger than the PS4 Pro. And where are we looking at this goddamn ginormous PS5? And people think they're gonna I make the PS5 though. slim. Man, what the PS5 is sexy as fuck. And people still think they're gonna make a. And I like mine out. But- you know, did you ever show the video in the blackout? I forgot. I mean, Hell no. Like, when I was, so I, I didn't know how to, like, layer another video. I was trying to, but I know how to do it now. But, uh. Everybody's going to look at my blacked out PlayStation now. But, um. When right I was, now. uh. <laughs> when I, um. And plus, when I, when I was editing this shit, I started getting backtracked. And I remember I had to go, uh. I left home. I couldn't sit there and edit it for real. Yeah. Uh, but when I was uh, but the PS5, like people are like, I'm gonna wait till they make a PS5 Slim or a PS5 Pro. They're not making a Pro. Like they already future proofed it to be 8K 30 frames per second. Like what makes you think that they're gonna make a fucking Pro? Like people think just because yeah. they did 8K hey, the TVs, 8K TVs are. What 4K TVs when the PS4 came out? 
I mean, yeah. they're out there, but but they already put I'm the let, checkerboard uh, system inside the PS Five. Like they already yeah, future. What I'm saying is, like, unless they're super rich as people, they're who has a fucking AK? I don't have money to buy an AK TV. But nobody's gonna have AK. If anything, like, like the PS Five is not even gonna do 4K 120 frames, except for certain games. But it's just like people think just because it happened last generation, the only reason that all that shit happens because the PS and the Xbox One came out at a weird time where technology was changing. So they made these systems and then like 4K was like starting to be normal two years later to where they had to because of PC games like game developers like was telling them like look you got to do this because PC games are being able to play in 4K now like they had to. And, and to that and to saying that with the PC games that you said it's going to be on the Xbox. I, I, when I read, when I when I heard the video, whatever it said, it wasn't going to be PC only on that Age of Empires. Bro, it's on I Xbox. It's I seen it on the, the Xbox name. Yeah, but yeah. it man, just it looks fucking crazy, dude. The like, Age of Empires Four or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like I watched the I watched the Microsoft uh, extended thing today. It came out today. So you can mm-hmm. go look it up real quick, and it's there. All right. But yeah, dude, I was like, and yeah, no, no doubt, PC. I mean, but that's the thing with PCs, you know. You, PCs are they're able to be upgraded yearly if you have to do it yearly, or every two years if you have to mm-hmm. to new technology so that they can play these. Faster loading, faster graphic, per frame, uh, frame rate games and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they, I don't know. But yeah, so next thing, what we were we talking about? Can we talk about Batwing a bit? I don't know, bro. Yeah. This episode, we could kind of make this episode kind of short because we really. Yeah, because I, I didn't really touch anything on music this. The last couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I mean, I listened to the new Lil Baby and Lil Dirk album, but you don't fuck with them, so. I mean, you do, but you ain't, you ain't really listen to it. No, I like, I like it. I'm not really a big Lil Dirk fan, but Lil you Baby. Lil Dirk and Lil Baby. It's called Voice of the Heroes, I think. Let me see if it's on my Apple Music real quick. Yeah, it's gonna be there. Probably is. I'll put it on my uh, to listen to this for yeah. next time. Baby. Yeah, you listen to that. Um, that's another album I've been listening to. Hold on. Okay, the little baby one is which one? Yeah, Lil Baby and Lil Dirt, The Voice of the Heroes. Okay. And then Migos Culture Three, which is cool it is for. And Migos, I think I'll pass on that one just because I don't like Migos. See, nah, just you know, we never got into their shit, dude. No. You know what I mean? I always try to listen to something at least once. Season well, five. I mean, a bit of a spoiler for you, and a bit of a spoiler for Watchers. I mean, unless they know what the hell's been going on with Clone Wars, Bad Batch, and The Mandalorian, you get your first look at a young Fennec Shan, which shows up in Mandalorian. She's the one that, the bounty hunter that shows up with uh, Boba Fett, the Asian chick. Yeah. So you get a, a glimpse of her when she was younger. In the the Bad Batch, the new episodes, bro. I cannot uh, find this Angelina Jolie movie. Hold on. Is she naked? No. No. But um, what I like to to do with the Bad Batch is they're tying in a lot of different things. Those who wish me dead into the canon. What what they bring into the canon now? A lot of different characters, a lot of different places. 
that have shown up either in video games or like in the recent episodes of The Mandalorian or in past episodes from the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. Um, They're bringing all that in to tie everything in together. Um, So you remember the planet that Fallen Order started off with? Baraka? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They visit that in this last episode. That batch? Yes, sir. So, so they're basically like going back and making everything that was in the future, bringing it to the past so it can all like coexist together. Basically, they're just, you know, tying the strings. Yeah. Um, so I like how they're, they're using this little show for that. Yep. Um, and then on that, stay tuned for more episodes. Um, can you, that's all you had to say about the uh, the Bad Batch canon? Like, they was, like, visiting... Oh, yeah, that was it. Oh, okay. It's pointless well, for some um, people that if they've been keeping up with it, but... I mean, everything fine. in this fucking uh, show is spoilers, but uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Lunar and the Professor podcast, episode two. I don't know what the subtitle of the episode two is going to be called, but, uh, we made it. We're here. We live, baby. And uh, for titties and an ass, four K. Oh my gosh, that can't be. That can't be the subtitle. But <laughs> we are uh, checking y'all on another two weeks. Adios. I'm out.